Now, like, I'm a, I'm a big fan, first of all. One of the things I actually really love about you is how easy you make the game look. Because when I watch you, you're like a couple of different people that I see at the same time. Like, the way you shoot reminds me of Steph Curry because you have this quick release. Because like, Steph Curry one of those dudes, like, like, if you watch Steph Curry highlights, and I know you're a fan, it's like, He's like, I can guard this dude. But you, you think, yeah, you think, you think so, you right? Can, yeah. <laughs> and then you're out there and you're like, oh, I can't. Like, did he just rap me? What just happened? I know. <laughs> Is that one of your influences? Definitely. I, I don't think I really watched like one person growing up. It definitely was, like you said, a lot of different players yeah. and just trying to watch their game, trying to pick up little things here and there. So I don't say I would model my game after one particular person, but Steph Curry would definitely be someone that I watch a lot of the time and just see how he plays the game. Read something that you and your brother, which I think this is kind of cheating, used to call plays in Romania and no, like nobody would know what you were talking about. We did, when that, we played on the same team. That's like a Romanian version of white man can jump, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was just so easy. Or we were talking about like schemes or what to do in Romania. Like I would tell him to back cut or tell him to come get the ball. And no one knew what we were talking about. I don't know how you get mad at your teammate. Like, hey man, do you know what they saying? We need to get a translator next time we play this. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> I know who you got your, your celebration intensity from. I watch your dad in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's funny watching his build up. Like, yeah. it feel like things was kind of cool at first, just a couple of claps, okay? And then at some point, he's doing like the. I actually look, I look scared. Like, cause you can see his vein pop out his head. Is, is that who you get to at 10 celebrations from? Is no, your whole family like that? No, they're not. I think he he's really competitive. And so at the beginning of the game, he's like calm because it's not like game time yet. There's still like a whole game to play. And then when it's at the end and it's like, it's in the bag, we're about to win. Then he just like lets all his emotions out. Like, yeah, we just won. I see people like not sure if they can high five him. <laughs> yeah, I don't ever see his reactions because I'm playing, but yeah. every time I rewatch a game or something and they zoom in on him, I'm like, they need to stop doing that because he looks psycho. They could literally, you know how they do like the tournaments of the one shining moment? Like they could just do one do with his him. highlight. Yeah. <laughs> every game just, oh, just do one shining moment. He, just the moon. I know, that's him. <laughs> Now you in the pros. You play for the New York Liberty. You're playing in New York City. New York City to me is the toughest place to play anything. Do you feel a lot of pressure coming to New York, especially being number one pick? Oh, do you care about that? Because it looked like you don't care about the pressure. I don't. I know, obviously, and basketball is huge in New York from like the history to it to now, but I just think I'm more excited to like bring fans into arenas and even have people that are haters or not haters, whatever it is. I think the more people are like talking about how we're playing in games, it's just bringing awareness to like our sport. And so I think I'm just excited, like honestly, for people to just come in and whether they're critics or whether they're appreciating what we're playing, to just have people talking about it. And then obviously proving all those people wrong through the way that I'm gonna play and through the way that we're gonna play. And I think it's more exciting. I kind of like the adversity and like, not really sure what the fans are gonna bring and, and all that stuff. I've heard that you love to write poetry, right? That's true, I'm not making it up, right? I used to love to write poetry. You used to love to write poetry. So you don't write a lot of poetry anymore like you used to? No, like when I was in middle school, we had a poetry book like that we had to write like 50 poems. <laughs> by like the end of the poems year. in middle school? Yes, and we had to stand up and present it to the class every single week, like the poem that we came up with. Who's your teacher, Maya Angelou? Yeah, I know. I don't know <laughs> what they were trying to get us to become poets or something. So that's when I was really into it. I was trying to think of different ways to talk about basketball because that's the only thing that I wrote poems about. And every time I stood up, the class would be like, oh, yeah, we know what this one's about.